be her knife! <laughs> Present the person of moonshine. Then another thing, 
We must have a wall in the great chamber. For Pyramus and Thisbe, says the story, did speak through the chink of a wall. You can never bring in a wall. No. no. What say you, Bottom? Why, some matter or other must present wall. And let him have about him some plaster, or some loam, or some rough cast to signify wall. And let him hold his fingers thus. And through that cranny shall Pyramus and Thisbe whisper. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> this may be that all is well. Come, sit down, every mother's son, and rest your heart. Pyramus, you begin. Once you have spoke your speech, enter into that break. And so every man according to his cue. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And homespuns have we staggering here, so near the cradle of the fairy queen. A play to work. <laughs> I'll be an auditor. <laughs> an actor, too, perhaps, if I see cause. So, Pyramus, begin. <clears throat> Disney, stand for. This be the flowers of odious savor sweet. Odor! <laughs> Odors. <laughs> Odors savors sweet. And so hath thy breath, dearest Thisbe dear. But hark, a voice, stay thou but a while, and by and by I will to thee appear. The stranger pyramids than air play here. <laughs> <laughs> I marry, must you? For you must know that he goes but to see a sound that he heard, and is to come again. Most, no. most, most radiant pyramus, how can you look at you? A red rose, like the triumphant briar, kick you. Most risky juvenile and eat most lovely Jew, as true, as true as horse, yet would never tire. I'll meet the pyramus at Minnie's tomb. Ninus tomb. Pyramus, enter, your cue is past, it is never tired. 